<clears throat> oh man. Hey guys. Hi guys. All right. Little little different um, than usual. I'm eating a home cooked meal tonight. Kaki did not make my dinner. I did not make my dinner. <laughs> my dad made my dinner tonight. Uh, Fred Senior. He um. <laughs> He made chicken parm and it looks so freaking good that how can I got a salad too. The chicken parm is actually really good. Oh man. Yeah, can't you can't really see, see it. it because of the, the lighting, but it's the chicken, chicken parm. The chicken parm is badass. I came back from my walk and I had like five big heaping forkfuls of that sucker. That's how good it was. <laughs> But I felt really guilty about eating that because I knew it's it's definitely not macro friendly. But she was gonna do this with me. I was, and she and decided I, to pick at it. I did, and basically threw her calories away. I need chip. I, you're right. Three servings was too much. The dressing. I said that. I don't know if it's that or if it's the fact that I did romaine and that romaine uh, iceberg, iceberg lettuce. No, I feel What's like. What's up, dude? Which I never do. Hello, the dude. I bite it. How are you? Yeah, no, I said three servings and that was a lot. I knew that. Let me get the chips. Hold on, let me sign in. You know I'm gonna do chips. <laughs> Doritos, actually. What's for dinner tonight, y'all? Who asked? The dude. The dude Hold of on, that dude. chicken parm, brother. I do not have chicken parm. I have. <laughs> Sausage and peppers, and then a salad oh. with yogurt, Caesar dressing. But hey. it's gonna be good. It looks good. Dude, dude, how are you? Did you start running yet? All right, let's try the Doritos. I'm sure these will make it good, better. Y'all always a always a pleasure. No, it's Thank a pleasure you. to have. Listen, it's a pleasure for any of you guys to come in here and spend a couple minutes or an hour. Uh, with whatever us. it is. Well, yeah, it's, it's talking. That is an absolute pleasure. And if you watch us the next day on YouTube, that's a pleasure too. Absolutely, guys. Mmm. Much better. Hey, you know what I was thinking? Yeah. Eric the Electric, right? Mm hmm. He does these food challenges. Mm -hmm. RJ, what's up? And. He doesn't count calories during the week. Hello, RJ, yeah. Or before his food challenges. He just eats clean. But I wonder how he goes about. He obviously knows what he's doing. I know that. He's not fat, yeah. <laughs> like, he eats... He's he an eats. exercise fiend yeah. also. But I wonder how he goes about. Like, I wonder if he has his, you know, his select meals that he enjoys... Um, some people do, some people don't. I have like my ingredients that I do like, like potatoes. I don't have potatoes tonight. It is a shocker. Hmm. This is still good, but <clears throat> you did entirely too much dressing. I know I kind of ruined it. I might not continue to eat the salad. I'm still low in calories. I'm still like 1,900 calories. The chicken parm is guesstimated, over, actually overestimated, uh, which I usually do, but I would, would have gone with 700 calories. And Kagi said, no, it's at least 1,000. It has to be because his dad fried it in olive oil, and it was all coated in panko and egg and everything else. Well, I, I mean, I watched how he made it. Did you? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna t I'm gonna taste it right now. Yeah, I'm not. Oh creating. no, it's good. I'm it's <laughs> that eggplant parm was probably the best eggplant parm I've ever had. It's chicken. Oh, uh, chicken. That's what I meant. Chicken parm. That is the best chicken parm I've ever had. Do you know how disappointed I would be if I found out that oh, I was no. about to eat eggplant? Oh no, it's chicken. And I have to say, like, I ate freaking five big forkfuls of that shit. And then Isabella was like, Mommy, can I have more? So I put more on her plate, and she sat there and ate it <laughs> before I went into the shower. Let's get rid of this plate. Oh, That's no, awesome. it's good. All right, well, we're about to find out. Knife. Classy. Very classy. 
You don't need a knife for it. It falls apart. Does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, it does. You don't need a knife. Put the knife down. Bottoms up, guys and gals. Chicken or beef? It's chicken. It's chicken parm, dude. There's chicken and you do not need a knife for that. Oh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> I do need a knife because the cheese doesn't just break apart. Oh, no, the cheese does not break apart, but the chicken does. Right, I would like to eat a piece of cheese with each bite of chicken. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? If I were not to use the knife, I would be taking glops of cheese. Plus, I eat with my hands every night, guys. I'm somewhat of a savage, um, as I've been called. So, it would be nice if I actually ate my full dinner with a fork and knife. Don't make fun of me either. By the way, I'm cutting my food. I'm double jointed. I know I'm gonna see that tomorrow. Why do you cut your food like that? Cause I'm double jointed. That's why. Why are you even asking to begin with? You remember when you see those comments? So mean. I do. This, I do remember that. <laughs> this chicken is fucking good. This chicken is really good. Well, I need to. I need to tell him that. And he's like, oh, it was alright. No, everybody. I know said your it was dad good. was like, eh. It was okay. I'm like, it was okay. I'm like, I sat there and I freaking picked at it, picked at it, picked at it. <laughs> Here's the thing. My dad made chicken. It was good. It was really good. My dad made chicken parm for the whole family tonight, right? Everybody ate except me and Kaki. My mom made herself a salad. I'm like, what kind of salad did you make? She goes, lettuce, tomato, red onion. Uh, corn. Hello, Chrissy. Hi, Chrissy. How are you, girl? Corn, cucumbers, uh, Caesar dressing, and she said something else. I'm like, your salad looks good. I'm like, I don't know which one do I want. Do I want to do a big salad or do I want the chicken parm? I decided to go with both. Hmm. I had a Big Mac today. You made me crave one and hadn't had one in ages. Felt a little guilty after, but it was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there you go. Big Macs will do that to you. I don't care whether it's good or not. If you see someone else eating a Big Mac, it just automatically has that ricochet effect. Now, they did not put extra cheese on mine like I wanted. And I do regret getting three Big Macs. I should have got three double quarter pounders. Next time I do, I'm going to get Mac sauce. Because I never even thought about that. That is probably good. Thought More about what? Double quarter pounders with max sauce. That sounds good. And they'll give you the max sauce, correct? Yeah. You gotta pay for it. It's like 75 cents extra. Alright. <clears throat> That's ridiculous. I'm not crazy about the salad, though. What else do I have in there? I mean, I could just go eat more chicken parm. There is a regular chicken cutlet in there. I might just put that on some bread. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That pre that pretzel bun at Wendy's looked good, and I've been craving pretzel buns since you recent meal with them. Pretzel buns, I love pretzel buns. Hey Donna. I don't know about hello Donna. I don't know about the pretzel buns at Wendy's though. Probably good. When have you ever had a bad burger from Wendy's? That's true. I don't think I've ever had a bad burger from Wendy's. Oh. I don't think I ever had one. Want to do Wendy's tomorrow night? Do you guys eat rice? Yeah. I love rice. I just had rice last night. I had rice uh, a couple last week. I used to do rice. RJ, weren't you in here last night? I had rice with my tacos last night. You had. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did. I don't mm -hmm. think RJ was in here last night. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Um, yes, he was. He said he I just, missed the stream. But I freaking watched him on the stream today. On the today? Yes. Oh, I said hello, RJ? Yes. Oh. It was either last night or the night before. It was the night before because I think he commented just before saying, I missed y'all live last night. Wendy's is the best out of Wendy's, Burger King, and McDonald's. Well, I... Beg to defer. No, oh, no, I don't beg to defer. Wendy's is the best, and I like Burger King as well. But I'm a Wendy's McDonald's trumps guy. all, in my opinion. Well, there's no way for us to I'll find out. It'll be Wendy's night for me tomorrow too. Yeah, hell yeah. 
We should all. Oh, do you did miss. So you missed RJ. Lager, so so okay. that was the night before. I'm sorry. My bad. You never had a pretzel bun, Donna? Oh, girl, you Donna, need to try it. Pretzel buns are amazing, and if you can find them in a grocery store, pick them up and try them. Fuck, man, what am I gonna do, Kaki? I don't want to just eat chicken parm and chips. These are like all my vegetables. When I said three servings, you're like, yeah, and I'm like, that seems like a lot. What could I do? It's like overwhelming. I taste nothing but Caesar dressing. All right, so take the chips and like dip it I into the it. salad. I did it. It's not working. It's just too I, much. I maybe I maybe I just you. no. Maybe I'm just I'm, I don't like the dressing. I think that's what it is. All right. Do you have anything you want to talk about? I'm going to go scoop and see what I can find. No. Nothing in particular, I mean. Um, you're always complaining that I don't ever let you talk. The stand is you yours. You never let me talk when I have something to talk about, but I have nothing to talk about today. Okay, I guys. didn't have a bad day. Right. Not like the other day. <laughs> no. I guess I'll just continue to eat my chicken until I have no more chicken and then I just won't eat. I have my shakes too, but... Yeah, you do have your shake. Kathy's <sighs> on vacation officially. Well, Day I've one. been... No. I was, oh, yeah. yeah, and I cleaned. You're on vacation I, from work, Kathy. Yes, I did. Do, do I not am pick on a fight with me tonight. All right? I would did take, I pick a fight? No, you're, you're going down that, that alley. No, I actually, like I wasn't. It's going. I really actually, don't. Actually, I wasn't. I try you to. seem very standoffish, and if you want to fucking pick a fight, let's pick a fight. I don't. I just want to find something to go with my okay, chicken. Okay, then go look for something with your chicken. Any plans Jesus for Labor Day? Jesus Christ. Any plans for Labor Day? Uh, well, we're both off. Yeah, no, we're both off for Monday. Uh, we'll probably do barbecue on Sunday night. Yeah, I, no, I that's my think. normal day off is Monday anyway to begin with. Then I usually go back to work on Tuesday, but... I do have the next couple of days off because Jamie's parents are going away. So, <clears throat> I'm off because I have to watch the kids. Obviously, I can't go to work. We have nobody to watch the kids. So, I'm off tonight, tomorrow, and Friday. I'll go back to work on Saturday just for a five-hour shift. Hey, you think that Domino's is in here? Um, yeah, you could probably still eat it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad. Whoa, we could try it. Oh, I forgot my guacamole. <laughs> what are you all settling up? Wow. Yeah. No, so I don't have to go back to work until Saturday, and I only work a five-hour shift on Saturday, and then I'm off Sunday, Monday, and then I go back to work on Tuesday, which isn't bad. I was kind of looking forward to, like, these next few days off only because work has been really slow. Very slow because we have a whole bunch of people from another store and we literally have nothing to do because there's so many freaking people in there and then we get a truck and it's just like boom. Where do you work? Who are you asking? Shit's done. Kaki works at a grocery store and I deliver packages for Amazon. I work at a grocery store that's just like kind of new in the area and then like they're opening up stores but they're not open yet so we're housing all of these other people that are going to different stores but they're not open yet and it sucks because we have no work to do because there's so many damn people that when we do have work to do it's done in like I don't know 30 minutes or less yeah, it sucks this. I don't even know what kind of pizza this is but I know there's there's at least green peppers it was on peppers. there Wow, you guys can't see the food. What did I do different with the lighting? I apologize for that. Ha. Ha. Ha tamale. Yeah. Oh, I'm eating nutritious tonight, guys. Mm. Chicken parm, fucking leftover pizza slice from Domino's and Doritos. <laughs> Here's the thing. You ever hear that saying? Cool, thanks. No problem. You ever hear that saying? Like, if you fuck up, and I've said it before too, if you fuck up, just you know, dust yourself off and get back on. Just because you mess up one day doesn't mean you have to mess up the whole week. Exactly. Well, guess what, guys? Kaki weighs out my cereal every single night, right? And it's not her fault. I didn't ask her to put Oreos in it. 
No, you didn't. So I came downstairs to get my Oreos to find that there were only two left. So I mixed, and they were they were like like broken. So I mixed that with the rest of the rainbow chip icing. That was the first mistake. Then today, not doing the greatest on my veggies now that I'm not eating my salad that I ruined with the dressing. What's up, Bodine? Hello, Bodine. How are you? Beautiful night. Is it by you? It rained in Queens today. Like, rained a lot. Pouring rain. What do you gives prefer for spending all my. Wait, what? RJ, you gotta say that again. What do you gives, I'm guessing guys, prefer? Saving or spending all the money? What do we prefer? Like saving money or spending? Well, Kaki's a I saver. I prefer saving. I'm a spender. Oh, he's a spender, I'm a saver. I'm not good with money. If it's, actually I've been good with money. I have actually not been, I have been good with money. I've got like four or five checks saved up. Yes, but your cash is like water. Not really. What's the last thing I bought myself? I, I, I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know because Jimmy buys shit. Here, Jamie, not Jimmy. I said Jamie buys shit and he doesn't tell me. <laughs> no. Yes. Last thing I bought was the Rock sweater. Ooh, pizza's still good. Hmm. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm sure you bought shit after that. You just didn't tell me. No, I haven't. I haven't bought any new shirts or new sh uh, tights or anything. I bought headbands. That's about it, guys. I'm a headband guy. What the fuck did I buy? Nothing. I think that's weird when people just like, they only have one question. Hey, where do you work? Why do you want to know where the fuck I work? <laughs> just curious. Right? That's why, Kaki, we got to be more careful. With what we say. Which is why I don't say where exactly I work. I know. Kaggy works at Aldi. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. You ever see those videos? Speaking of Amazon, and I don't I don't know. I see Amazon drivers all day long. But you ever see those videos where it's someone imitating a UPS driver, an Amazon driver, and a FedEx driver? And it's like it shows FedEx ruining the fucking box. UPS just throwing the box. And then the Amazon yes. guy <laughs> sweeping up. The, do, does Amazon actually do that? <laughs> I've seen the Amazon people. Like they pull up in the do house they, like on a daily. <laughs> yeah, I know that. But do they actually like clean your freaking porch? Make no. it nice? No, right? No. If you were to see me when no. I deliver a package. Amazon does not sweep your porch. They do not. The random FBI agent watching your feed. Hey, man, where do you live? LOL. <laughs> yeah, all right. We are in Pennsylvania. Queens, Pennsylvania. Why would, an FBI, <laughs> why would an FBI agent be interested in me? Unless they want me to be a face of something. Does this, this look like... This is not Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Does this face look like it could be the face of... Anything, law and you know law and Florida. I got tons of family in the uh, in the army in the. Just curious about time off. Yeah, you don't get time off. <laughs> yeah, I don't get time off either. Trying to get time off is like pulling teeth. I don't get time off. I request days off, and then I have Lift to the eat the pay off. because I don't have time off right now. You're that girl, Chrissy, huh? We like girls like you. I, I don't ever take the shit, but hmm? I, it's a very nice uh, thought. She leaves Cliff bars and um, and candy out for the male people. Oh, a lot of people do leave things out for the male people. I know it's very nice. You know that? Of course, I knew that. I just said I, we like you, you know, people like you. We do. I don't ever take it. I I think I took a. a your brother takes it though. Oh, I know my brother takes it. I took a granola bar once and then I gave it to my manager. So, listen, if you are someone that gets a lot of packages and from... You, and you leave snacks out and drinks out, that's appreciated. Yeah, it's very nice. But... 
this one lady, the nicest, besides having the big tips, put lollipops. <laughs> I don't like my Skittles. I just felt kind of bad because it's, it's hot. hot out and they probably melted. Yeah. Well, listen. Well, you know what? It's a thought people, that counts. Yeah. It's a thought that counts, Chrissy. Yeah, and you know what, Chrissy? If, if there was a lot more people like you, us drivers would be a much happier. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm happy I work anyway when I'm driving. His brother says that people leave out Gatorades and Powerades and shit. Yeah, well, not too much Gatorades. He said that. He might have said that, but. They leave out like mini Gatorades, mini Powerades. Yeah, little sodas. Mm hmm. Not so I wouldn't say the and big that's fine, Especially if like they order a lot. So if they're ordering a lot and they're not home, I guess they feel like I have to like at least leave them something. And then you know what? That's nice. A lot of my places have doorbell cameras, and I took this, I had this, oh, this and it was an envelope. There was probably a t-shirt in there. Either a t-shirt or divorce papers. It was one. Divorce papers? You know what I mean. It was like that kind of envelope. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Like the middle envelope. Anyway, nothing fragile. Nothing fragile. But the way I, I <laughs> the way I put the, I, I kind of mm -hmm. like, I, I didn't frisbee it, but it was like, like from from me to where my microphone is, and it made a plop, and then I looked up, and there was a doorbell camera. I'm like, oh shit, that's where the videos come well, from. Obviously. <laughs> Who's that? That is our private security guard, <clears throat> Rufus. That's Antonio. <laughs> he bounces around, always checking out property. No, that's my brother Antonio. He's been on here before. <clears throat> Can you imagine that if I had a big fat security guard named no. Rufus? Angie, we didn't think you were a lurker. <laughs> oh no, Angie, it's okay. It's just that some people do come in and just ask like a weird question and then don't say nothing else. Yeah, no. You're good. You're not a lurker. Have you been in here before? <clears throat> Oh, you go get that. This pizza was good. Tommy just gets peppers. Peppers on it. It actually goes good with the dressing. I'm gonna be hungry still. I know that. I just don't want to go right from doing the chicken to the one slice of pizza to chips to freaking the shake. What the fuck was that? A sausage. Oh. Where's the dog when you need him? Do you know your calories in it? No. No, I don't. I could only imagine. I'm, I'm happy. Although that I worked out twice today. Did you? Did I you did do? weights, and then I went for an hour walk. You did. You. I did. Keg's a go-go girl tonight. I did double duty tonight, guys. I wasn't feeling my run at first. Good night, have a rise and shine early. You have to rise and shine early. To sell before you go, what, what happened? You, are you getting up for work? Oh, I finally got a call back from the school today. Yeah? Regarding the Chromebooks. Uh-huh. And we will be getting two Chromebooks. Oh, we, we are getting them? I have an appointment on Friday to pick them up. Nice. Two calls later, your mom finally called the, the main office. She's like, so-and-so called about this, but they never called her back. I legit started my working out. My mom knows how to get around mm -hmm. this shit. She did. She knew. <laughs> like, I called this lady like three times. The three separate messages. Well, I hope Not you a have, call back. I hope you have a good night's rest, Tizel. Oh. Not a call back. Oh, and then your mom makes... Don't leave yet. Hold on, Tizel. She makes one fucking phone call. They're like, oh yeah, she'll call you back. I legit started working out. I'm like in my second freaking set of my freaking ab roller thing. Okay. And I hear the freaking phone going off. I'm like, really? <laughs> Tizel is going to bed because she has to get up early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I forgot to ask you, did you ever go to, did you ever start elevating your feet? And if you did, is it working? I don't remember what else I told you. I think I told you. Um, and you have to take your kid to school. Ah. Yeah. 
I think I told you that to do that and then maybe up mm -hmm. the potassium. If I, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. I do remember that. We should try. What is that, RJ? Wait, just listening to the news, The Rock has. Yeah, I know. It's sad. I, he, he's all, he's yes. good, though. He's okay, though. Several times, generally, the first, like, all the Phoebes do. Well, I appreciate that, Angie. I'm sorry. My, my memory's fucking horrible. He was meant to come film a movie in your home state, Queensland, Australia. I'm sure he still will. It's two weeks into it. I know he, I just, you know, he said he was, he's doing good. Him and his family is doing good. There's one man that you better believe is going to take. You can find the recipe on YouTube. Okay, RJ, what is it exactly, though? I'm not going to look up the recipe. What is it, though? Sounds like meat. I don't even want to try to pronounce it. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that because I'm going to butcher it. Well, I feel so guilty not eating my salad. Peach is actually very good, though. What's up, man? Crazy Eddie Seven. That's a fucking cool name. <laughs> Crazy What's going Eddie on? Seven. <laughs> Hello. I have to say, I like the name a lot. Crazy Eddie? It's like, yo, did you see what happened at the bar last night? You know what happened? Crazy Eddie <laughs> tore this shit up. He threw the fucking beer bomb bottle over there. Been drinking the calm along with elevating my legs. It helps. I noticed later I run the worst. It's. That's what I'm trying to get it in earlier. Okay. Well, I'm happy it's helping you at least. I've been running later as well. I'm not getting home to my runs for, until like 9 o'clock. Mm hmm. It's like spicy chicken rice. We will look into spicy that, RJ. Spicy chicken rice. See, now I can, I, that's something I like. Hold on. I'm going to scroll back. Jackie's going to look into it right now. I'm going to screenshot it so I remember tomorrow to look it up. Want to go live? Hello. Want to go live? Want to go live with what? What do you mean? We are live. Mm. If we go live with you, we're going to screw up our freaking live. No thanks. Oh, Chrissy said, I think it's pronounced beer e a. Birani. Birani. Oh, knee. LOL is good. Chrissy has. LOL. It's good. Chrissy, I trust your judgment. I'm going to have to look it up and. I think we're going to start taking requests. If so, if you guys want to see a certain meal, leave it in the comments. Mm -hmm. I'll talk to Kagi if we can make it work. Um, we'll do it. And my store has a lot of like different. Just not on a Friday or a Saturday. Yeah, no. Besides that, my store has a lot of like different sauces and whatnot, especially Mediterranean. They have a lot of Mediterranean stuff that I do want to try. You want so. to try Indian food, right? Mm hmm You know, honestly, I think- My store has a whole array of like okay. Indian sauces just, and stuff. I, I really want to try. I should just go back to that place that I got Indian food a couple weeks ago. It was good. And I didn't even get the stuff I was supposed to get. But I just threw out was in the fridge because you never finished it. Because it wasn't fucking good. It, 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 you're talking about what I got two weeks ago. No, I'm talking about my initial recipe idea that I had to do, that I wanted to do with the pizza. They didn't give me everything because they didn't have it. You need a good technique to get it nice and fluffy. Nah. Thank you, Chrissy. She said she tried to make it, but like the rice wasn't right. You need a technique to get the rice nice and fluffy. All day 1993, what's up? Hello, all day. How are you? Where are you from? We are from Queens. It's uh, really getting better in Australia. Yeah, we're getting better here too as well. Hopefully everything... Listen, I, I know... New York I, isn't as bad as it was. Well, it's getting better. Yeah, but I... And, and you know, I know this is me like really going ahead and saying this but I'm hoping shit goes back to normal very very soon very soon mm. I saw something where now more businesses are starting to reclose do you know one of the main businesses that's gonna really really hurt through this whole thing Besides gyms, real estate. Mm -hmm. 
do you know how many jobs, how many companies are going to realize our employees are working from home, they're more productive. Why am I spending this much money on rent and... But who's going to buy a house right now and they don't have the income to support it? Com on a commercial, Kaki. Commercial. Commercial, yes. But who's going to have the money to do that, though? I know, but I'm talking about people that are, are going, working from home. Yes, people that are working from home, yes. I understand that. But I'm just saying, like... A lot of people are not going to be like, why? I'm... A lot of bosses are gonna be like, "This, there's no need." I mean, if you could do your job at home, why not? Why not? I wish I could do my job at home. Hopefully, one day I will be able to. You I live wish in Rochester. I could do my job from home. <laughs> Rochester, New York, bars, bars. Uh, you live upstate New York. Yeah, bars. Rochester. That, First time since the 1970s. You said that from the beginning, right, Chrissy? Makes sense. It definitely does. I, uh... My boss had a meeting this morning with the guy that runs our terminal. A fucking doofus he is. <laughs> and, uh... Apparently there's problems with packages not getting delivered. Oh, sorry. There's not... A pandemic going on right now where people are not at work now granted his response was well you know what you guys are having light days so there's no reason why you couldn't find a place to put the package whether it's calling a number some packages doesn't have the number on it number one number two it's like okay if you don't want us to come back with the box we can just fucking ditch it you can just ditch it. That's the only other way to do it. You know? Ditch it. How do you, <clears throat> how do you ditch it, though? You throw it out the fucking truck. That's the only way that box is, the, is not coming back. Well, it's fucked up. Why would you do that? Killing it. You own four bars? Or pubs? What do you do for work? I am a Amazon driver, Crazy Eddie. <laughs> and I work Australia. in a supermarket. You from Australia? Uh, you own four bars, huh? I hope you do food, because if you do food, you could at least do like the outside dining, get some chairs and shit. I mean, that's what I would do. Private offices, tiny cubicles next to each other. The tent they pay is so much they will. At the least downsize the office space and keep us afloat. It okay, so you're doing takeout. Great. That's good. Like hoteling where people just cover up, cover in, and plug their laptop in the station assigned to their seats or their private private offices just tiny people next to each other. Yeah. the world we live in now guys we need to have space for things because we have to be socially distant all the time if that's what it's called for right now then, then socially yeah. distant yes but, but what i will say i will say this is it necessarily a bad thing to be socially distant no is the world ever going to go back to how it used to be are I'm there sure it will. are there going to be random hookups without thinking holy shit i might catch something that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you're going to catch something that's not COVID. <laughs> but you might catch COVID at the same time. Who knows? Take out or have to come in. <laughs> yeah, no. Listen, I if you if you have a bar or restaurant, I know you're hurting. I know you're hurting. I mean, that is a hard hard hard. Even even when bar restaurants or bars are doing good, like that's a hard business to maintain. Hello, hello. There are still random hookups happening right now, lol. Yeah, Chrissy, I'm sure there are. Yeah, but and, it's not going to go back to how it used to be. And that's just where crazy. You meet a chick at the bar, buy her a glass of wine, and then you got her in the bathroom 20 minutes later. Nope. I probably won't ever go back to that. Kaki turned away that life a long time ago. 
First of all, nothing ever happened in the bathroom, number one. You tried to get me in the bathroom. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You said we'll go to the bathroom. I said, Kim, no, wait for home. Do such a Oh, that's lot. when we were together already. You're still a bathroom chick. Doesn't matter. We were together already. If you want It's not like that was our first day. I said, let's go to the bathroom. I didn't say it was the first day. I'm just saying. Oh, no, that's different. You are a bathroom chick. That doesn't count. Khaki's that doesn't of, count. You're still the kind of chick that would do it in the bathroom. First of all, we did in the bathroom in your security booth, so let's not go there. Once again, your idea. <laughs> no. Khaki's it wasn't my chick. idea. Wasn't my idea. Dirty she you, is. You wanted me to go to work with you because you had to work freaking New Year's Eve. <laughs> and I sat in the car drinking until you said it was okay for me to come into your <laughs> booth. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. no, that was not my idea. That was your idea. And we had our dog in the car at the time too. Kagi, listen, don't be ashamed. You were once I'm not ashamed. I'm just letting you know it's not just me, it's him too. Kagi He's was... a bathroom dude my, himself. Yeah, listen. He's a bathroom dude himself. Don't let him tell you it's just Can I finish what I was saying? Because some it's not. Some girls like <laughs> lotion and candles. Kaki likes bathroom banging. And you know what? Jamie likes bathroom banging too. So we're a match made in fucking heaven. I'm just saying, you're that, you're that <laughs> chick. Doesn't matter. It takes two to tango? Yeah, Thank but this... you. Thank you. And it was his idea, not mine. No. Oh, there's an argument there. Who do you believe? <laughs> Who, Who do, you, do believe? you believe? She was just tried saying she never did that. No, because it was all you. It's your idea. Okay. It doesn't matter. And I Dirty with deeds you. done dirt cheap. Dirty deeds. <laughs> yeah, that's a song. And I always thought that song was called Dirty Jeans. Your buddy Sugar Boom Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I always thought that song was called Dirty Jeans. Listen, ladies. Do you remember that song? Dirty Deeds. Stop. Yeah, that dirty. freaking that yeah. dude. Guy? Yeah, I always thought it was like dirty jeans. <laughs> it's called dirty deeds. Mm -hmm. It actually makes sense now. It's called dirty deeds because they are done dirt cheap. You both participated, though, and there's nothing wrong with it. People do much worse. Oh, I know. I can tell you stories. Mm hmm. And it was his idea. Maybe for the security one, but the bar one was yours. At least the security one was my office. <laughs> it was. It was my office. I was in there every single office. night. You want to call it an office? It was. What did you call it? A tiny building with a it, window? It definitely was not an office. <laughs> it was a tiny house, Taggy. That was my office. That's where I worked. It was my job to press the button to let the gate go up. It was my job to take their license plate down. I took that shit very serious. I had an Xbox, a microwave. <laughs> Donna, you did it once before. <laughs> hey, I'm not. Listen, if you're a chick and you banged in the bathroom in a public restaurant, I'm not going. I'm not shitting on you. Trust a me. Workplace prompt. <laughs> he calls it his office. It was my office. <laughs> Meanwhile, you had to see the setup when he worked in his office. That was the. Patrol car. <laughs> yeah. His, his office. I was in a patrol car two days a week, two nights a week. I did overnights. And I set that shit up. I remember one time that I. That was his office as well, guys. I remember I fell asleep one time and woke up covered in snow. <laughs> yeah, and then his, his supervisor pulled up next to him. He's like, Oh, dude. I was pimping all right, Chrissy. You have no idea. He was like, Dude, are you really wearing pajama pants right now? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I just changed into them because I'm going home. And I'm going to sleep. <laughs> He's like, oh, all right. He was cool, though. It was, yeah. Listen, <laughs> I was unemployed and going through a bad time before I got that job. And then my new job was to go to the store and get movies. I would go to the library, rent movies and shit for work. He's like, this is bullshit. You haven't been, you've been out of work, and now your job is to watch <laughs> movies all night. Oh my god! All he did was rent for he rented One Tree Hill like a motherfucker. And you know what? I wasn't complaining because I watched it too. Well, I got you into it. I oh, got you into that. Yes. The OC. All of those. Uh, I remember watching the OC, but like I wasn't into the OC, so like I started like all of it from the beginning just yeah. because of like what he 
he's watching. And like we would like trade DVDs. It was like the funniest thing because like he would work at night and I worked during the day. So he'd watch whatever and then I would watch what he watched and then like we would talk about it before we went to work. Yeah. And then we'd trade like DVDs. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what we did back then. I would miss Kagi because I was away from her all night. So I would watch the OC or One Tree Hill. And there was, oh, you know, a whole bunch of the romantic Gaga in there. And I would miss her. I would call her up. She'd usually be sleeping. You guys was doing the original Netflix and she, Exactly, Chrissy. We were. We were, but we weren't together. Like, we, we were together, but like... There you we go. Told you. Like... Now you met me. Wanted to get me in the, sh in the sack. She just admitted that we weren't together. Though. No. Like, literally... We were not together at that point because, like, he was working and I was home, but we were together, but we weren't, like, with each other's company. Oh, don't let Jamie twist my words because then I'm going to have to hurt him. And then I'm going to twist his ear like a little like a little freaking kid, and he's going to cry and say, yeah, that's what you meant. <laughs> I'm hungry still. <laughs> I really am. That pizza was good. Blockbuster and bust. There you go, Chrissy. <laughs> hey, you know what? There were times where we didn't pay our cable bill and we had to go to Blockbuster and get that three for 20 deal. <laughs> Not even that. Or Excuse you me. just buy like the really discounted like seasons of shit and then like mm -hmm. go home and be like, oh damn, this is really good. And then you have to go back and buy the rest of the seasons because they we were did. like really discount especially when blockbuster was going out of business yeah well sometimes we, they wouldn't have that certain series so we'd actually have to go to best buy and pay the 40 bucks 50 bucks whatever it was for the box set mm -hmm. season that we needed then we would binge wash it what was your favorite season that we got into out of all the like, favorite out of my, all the shows i'd have to say rescue me mm. rescue me was like one of the favorite shows that and sons of anarchy we didn't get into Sons of Anarchy. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. I was out with the back injury, and I got into Sons by myself. No, you didn't. Yes, I did, because I would eat your ice cream while you were sleeping with no, the dogs. No, that was Dexter. It was Dexter that as well. That was Dexter. It was Dexter as that well. That was not Sons of Anarchy, because I got into Sons of Anarchy with you, because we borrowed your parents' first season. I think I started, and then I restarted with you. Mm -mm. Nope. Dexter, you restarted with me. I didn't start watching Dexter oh. until you started watching it. You can't get. You haven't gotten into Sons of Anarchy. Dexter was my ish. ish yes, yeah, Dexter, Dexter was, was a awesome. shit. Sons of, Sons of Anarchy was just. Sons of was Anarchy better. was better than Dexter, in my opinion. Not by much. Not by much. Disappointing end though. Yes, Dexter, absolutely. Yeah. I think they left it off Agreed. where he could... Where he could come back. Yeah, they left... I think, that, you know, I think Michael C. Hall was kind of getting tired of playing that character. And he was... It and was it's like the, the same shit over and over and over. Well, no, he got branded. He got branded as that guy. He got branded as a, you know, a friendly serial killer. And, you know, unfortunately, once you get branded in a certain role... Um, You've never seen... You can't go and play SMI? like... You can't go and play... <clears throat> a Disney movie or uh, it's just you're, yeah, you're no. going to be looked at as, as Dexter <gasps> so yes he's probably set for ever and ever and ever but Donna Donna definitely take the time to start Sons of Anarchy because it is a great show season 2 is even better so if you yeah. can make it through season 1 season you'll, 1 you'll was be really good but like season 2 is better I agree is all of Queens like King of Queens, Street of Your Doorway, or is it house property in New York? Mm. No, it's it's all different. There, are, yes, where it depends where you're from. No, I mean there's a lot of yeah, where there's a lot of ha like we where we are, we have some property in between, but there are house lot. on top of house. It's not just it's like yeah, it's not no, just it's like King of house. Queens. There are a lot of fat guys that are Mets fans, though. That's the <laughs> truth. That's the truth. Like the guy who played old Al Bundy, Al Bundy, yeah, he's been he was in a couple movies. What what the fuck is his name? Al Bundy. Um, oh yeah, I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he he also was in a TV show as well, Modern well, Family. He was yeah. in Modern Family. Look how long ago Al Bundy was though. Oh, that TV show! That TV show was a classic. 
But now he's in a sick. He's in another sick. He wasn't. Yes. Now and he's I know older. It, <clears throat> I know his name. I don't know his name off the top of my head. <clears throat> I wonder Bundy. if I could find. Yeah, you definitely can, Donna. Donna, it's 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 out there somewhere. What? Sons of Anarchy. You could definitely find it. You could probably get it on demand. Mm, no, you can't FX? get it on demand. It's not on FX anymore. It might be. No, it's not. I already looked. Be. You ready for bed? Mm -hmm. Hi from Florida. Hello from Queens. But for Hello. the longest time, he was typecast. Nobody could take him serious because of the character. Yeah. And I don't think he's done anything major since. You know, but they left it off where he could come back. And they're probably like, all right, Michael, you know what? You know, if you need a break, fine. Take as much time as you need. Jesus, how long has it been since Dexter went it's off been the It's been a while. It's been like... I feel like that was our last apartment when Lucas was a baby. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at like Lucas was like a year and a half year old, years old when that happened, yeah. and now he's eight. It's been a long time. Like six and a half years, seven, seven and a half years. Right. Let's go to bed. Ten years or more? No, it definitely has not yeah. been ten years. I don't Lucas, think it's been ten years. Lucas but... is only eight, and I remember him being a baby when that was on. It's definitely not ten. It might be eight. eight. It might be eight. It's like it's like seven, seven, seven because Lucas was just Lucas was like a year old maybe. Uh, all right. We will see you guys tomorrow. Um, we might do Wendy's tomorrow. I'm not gonna. Do, I might just take this. I might not even try to climb back up the hill. I might just finish down to the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy's tomorrow night. Pizza Friday. I wouldn't be opposed to Wendy's tomorrow night. You were in college when you watched it? Yeah, no, Lucas was like a year old, a year and a half old. I'm going to bank on that, Christy. Whatever. He, I remember him being around like toward, towards the end. It's no big deal. Truth be told, the it's, show. it's been too damn long. It's been too damn long since Dexter went off the air. All right, let's go to bed. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys. <sighs> I always feel weird walking so close to the camera with my milkshake residue. Good night, Sammy. Good night. Uh, and now, delete video, baby. All right, good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night, guys.